We're here at Aguaboa Lodge, which is uh, in a very remote spot in um, northern Brazil, in Roraima State. And I've been coming here for, I've been here six times since 2009. I've never fished for peacock bass before, so I came here without almost any expectations. I really didn't know what to, uh, what to expect. Somebody said it's like an airplane toilet. You press the button and it goes and the fly is gone. There's a ton of fish to catch here. There's arapaima about this almost this boat, but the prime reason to come here is the peacock bass. Peacocks are, to any European angler, they're reminiscent of a, of a perch. But unlike a perch, they grow to 25 pounds or more. They fight like an absolute tank. They nail huge poppers. I, I like to fish a, a popper that's about eight inches long on a 5 0 hook, and I still get beaten up on 60 pound line. So they are as strong as you can imagine. In the and you know, for guys who fish for salmon, you're going to get the shock of your life because you just get non-stop action. You're sight fishing. The great thing with Agua Bar is that it makes it almost unique, really, in the Amazon. Is that it's, the water's gin clear, so it's very like fishing in a chalk stream. But instead of fishing for trout, that you know, fight for sure. These things just pull you around. They pull your arms out of your sockets. The space was growing. Sometimes this almost feels like fishing for GTs in, in saltwater shallow flats. I mean, you see these single cruising big fish and you put the popper out there, you put the big streamer out there and the fish sees it from meters and meters away and just goes And it's, I mean, the, the, the adrenaline in those little moments, it's, you don't get that so often in, in fly fishing. Bycatch. You feel like one of the conquistadors here. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody here, nobody. That's a great feeling. And yet, you've got a great camp where you've got air conditioning, you've got good food, you've got internet. I mean, it's quite amazing what you've got here. So you can go home at night and have a caipirinha and, and, and splash around in a big swimming pool and, uh, and then kind of kid yourself you're back in the wilderness again in the morning, which you are, you know. So it's a remarkable achievement to have a, a lodge here with, uh, with all mod cons and, uh, and yet this incredible wilderness all around you. It's a very special place. When you do destination angling, you don't, don't always know what to expect in terms of guides and their professionalism and these guys really know these rivers and all these little channels and lagoons inside out and they really go the extra mile in, in trying to find fish for you. They'll chop down these little entryways through these tiny creeks into these lagoons that nobody else has fished before during the whole season. They know every single corner of this, uh, of this area and you know, when you come to a place like this that's what you, uh, that's what you kind of want, that's what you expect.